Selena Martinez was at the top of her game. As a successful social media influencer with over 2 million followers on Instagram, she had the world at her feet. Brands clamored for her endorsement, and her posts regularly garnered hundreds of thousands of likes and comments. But behind the curated photos and sponsored content, Lena was growing tired. The pressure to maintain her image and stay relevant was relentless. She needed something new, something exciting to reignite her passion for content creation. One evening, while scrolling through her feed, Lena stumbled upon a series of eerie, yet fascinating posts from a relatively unknown account named A Haunted Reality. The account featured videos of paranormal investigations, complete with ghost sightings, unexplained phenomena, and chilling backstories. The engagement on the posts was astronomical, and the comments were filled with users begging for more. An idea began to form in Lena's mind. What if she could do something similar? Combining her social media prowess with a thrilling new concept could be the spark she needed. Lena spent the next few days researching haunted locations and paranormal hotspots. She decided to visit the abandoned Ravenwood Asylum, an infamous site known for its dark history and alleged hauntings. Located on the outskirts of town, the asylum had been closed for decades after reports of inhumane treatments and mysterious deaths. Local legends claimed that the spirits of former patients still roamed the halls, seeking revenge for the atrocities they had suffered. Armed with her camera, drone, and a few friends, Mark, her tech-savvy videographer, and Alyssa, her skeptical but curious best friend, Lena set out for Ravenwood Asylum on a foggy Friday evening. The drive was uneventful, but the looming structure of the asylum, shrouded in mist and decay, sent shivers down their spines. They arrived just before sunset. The asylum was a sprawling, decrepit building, its windows broken and walls covered in ivy. The air was thick with an unsettling silence, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves and distant hoot of an owl. Lena felt a thrill of excitement mixed with a tinge of fear as she stood before the entrance. Let's do this, she said, her voice steady despite the growing unease. They entered the asylum, the creaking doors echoing ominously. The inside was just as eerie as the exterior, with peeling paint, broken furniture, and the lingering scent of mold and decay. Mark set up his equipment while Alyssa held the flashlight, casting long, flickering shadows on the walls. Lena began recording, her voice confident and engaging. Hey everyone, welcome to a very special episode. Today we're exploring the infamous Ravenwood Asylum, known for its dark history and paranormal activity. Stay tuned as we investigate and see if the legends are true. As they moved through the asylum, they encountered strange occurrences. The temperature dropped suddenly, their equipment malfunctioned intermittently, and they heard distant whispers and footsteps that seemed to come from nowhere. Mark's camera captured fleeting shadows, and Alyssa's flashlight flickered, casting eerie patterns on the walls. They reached the main hall, a vast, empty space with a large staircase leading to the upper floors. Lena decided to split up to cover more ground. Mark would stay in the main hall to monitor the equipment, while Lena and Alyssa explored the upper levels. Be careful, Mark warned. This place gives me the creeps. Lena and Alyssa ascended the stairs, their footsteps echoing in the silence. The upper floors were even more decrepit, with broken windows letting in the cold night air. They entered what appeared to be a former patient's room, the walls covered in faded, disturbing drawings. This is seriously creepy, Alyssa whispered, her usual skepticism giving way to genuine fear. Lena nodded, her heart pounding. She continued recording, narrating their findings and speculating about the asylum's past. As they moved through the rooms, the sense of being watched grew stronger. Suddenly, Lena's phone buzzed. It was a notification from her Instagram account. She had set it to automatically upload snippets of their investigation in real time. The latest post had garnered an overwhelming response, with viewers claiming to see strange figures and faces in the background. Look at this, Lena showed Alyssa the comments, 
People are seeing things we didn't even notice. Alyssa's face paled as she read the comments. Lena, maybe we should leave. This doesn't feel right. Lena hesitated, but her determination to get unique content overpowered her fear. Just a little longer. We need more footage. They continued exploring, the atmosphere growing heavier with each step. They reached the end of the hallway and entered a large, dark room. As they shone their flashlights around, they noticed something chilling. On the far wall, written in what looked like dried blood, were the words, Help us. Lena's breath caught in her throat. Alyssa, are you seeing this? Alyssa nodded, her face ashen. We need to go. Now. Before Lena could respond, the door slammed shut behind them. They turned, but the door wouldn't budge. Panic set in as they pounded on the door, yelling for Mark. The room grew colder, and they heard the faint sound of children crying. Mark! Mark! Help us! Lena screamed, her voice cracking. There was no response. The crying grew louder, and shadows seemed to move in the corners of the room. Lena fumbled with her phone, trying to call Mark, but there was no signal. Desperation clawed at her as she realized they were trapped. Suddenly, the crying stopped, replaced by a deep, menacing voice. You shouldn't have come here. The temperature plummeted, and Lena and Alyssa felt an icy grip around their throats. They gasped for air, struggling against the invisible force. Just as suddenly as it started, the grip released, and they collapsed to the floor, coughing and shivering. The door creaked open, and they saw Mark standing there, his face pale and eyes wide with fear. What happened? I heard you screaming. Lena and Alyssa scrambled to their feet and rushed out of the room. We need to get out of here now, Lena said, her voice trembling. They hurried down the stairs, the sense of dread following them. As they reached the main hall, the lights flickered and went out. The only light came from Mark's camera and their flashlights, casting eerie shadows on the walls. They made their way to the entrance, but it was locked. Mark tried to force it open, but it wouldn't budge. Panic set in as they realized they were trapped. They turned back, looking for another way out, when they heard the deep voice again. Leave while you still can. Lena's heart pounded in her chest. We're trying! She yelled, her voice echoing in the empty hall. They found a side door that led to the basement. It was their only option. They descended into the darkness, the air growing colder and more oppressive. The basement was a labyrinth of narrow hallways and small rooms, filled with old medical equipment and abandoned furniture. As they navigated the basement, they felt the presence of something watching them. Shadows moved in the corners of their vision, and they heard whispers that seemed to come from all directions. Their flashlights flickered, casting eerie patterns on the walls. They reached a large room at the end of the hallway. In the center was an old, rusty operating table, surrounded by medical instruments. The air was thick with the smell of decay and rot. Lena felt a wave of nausea as she looked around. We need to find another way out, Mark said, his voice shaky. They searched the room, but there was no exit. Suddenly the temperature dropped even further and the deep voice echoed through the basement. You can't leave. The shadows in the room seemed to come alive, swirling around them. Lena felt a cold hand on her shoulder and screamed. The hand pulled her back and she struggled to break free. Mark and Alyssa rushed to help, but they too were grabbed by invisible forces. They were dragged to the operating table, their screams echoing through the basement. The shadows tightened their grip, and Lena felt herself being lifted onto the table. She struggled, but the cold hands held her down. A figure appeared at the foot of the table, shrouded in darkness. Lena couldn't see its face, but she felt its malevolent presence. The figure raised its hand, and the shadows tightened their grip. You shouldn't have come here, the figure said, its voice cold and unforgiving. Lena felt a sharp pain in her chest and screamed. The pain intensified, spreading through her body. She struggled against the shadows, but they held her down. Just as she felt she couldn't take any more, the pain stopped. The shadows released her, and she collapsed onto the table, gasping for air. The figure disappeared, and the room grew silent. Mark and Alyssa rushed to her side, 
their faces pale with fear. Are you okay? Mark asked, his voice trembling. Lena nodded, too weak to speak. They helped her off the table and looked around the room. The shadows had disappeared, and the oppressive atmosphere had lifted. We need to get out of here, Alyssa said, her voice shaking. They made their way back through the basement, the sense of dread following them. As they reached the stairs, they heard the deep voice one last time. Leave and never return. They hurried up the stairs and out of the asylum, the cool night air, a welcome relief. They reached their car and drove away. The silence of the night, a stark contrast to the horrors they had faced. Back at her apartment, Lena reviewed the footage from their investigation. The video was filled with strange occurrences and unexplained phenomena, just as they had experienced. But there was something else, something that sent shivers down her spine. In the background of several clips, she saw the dark figure watching them. It was always there, lurking in the shadows, its malevolent presence undeniable. The realization hit her hard. Whatever they had encountered at Ravenwood Asylum had followed them. Lena knew she had to share their story, not just for her followers, but to warn others. She edited the footage and uploaded it to her channel, titled Haunted Reality, Our Terrifying Encounter at Ravenwood Asylum. The video went viral within hours, garnering millions of views and thousands of comments. People were captivated by their experience, and the video became a sensation. But Lena knew the truth. This was no ordinary haunted house story. They had encountered something truly malevolent, something that still haunted her dreams. As the days turned into weeks, Lena and her friends couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Strange occurrences plagued their lives, objects moving on their own, cold spots in their homes, and the constant feeling of dread. One night, as Lena was editing her next video, she heard a whisper behind her. She turned, but there was no one there. The room grew cold, and she saw the shadowy figure standing in the corner, watching her. You shouldn't have come here, it said, its voice echoing through the room. Lena felt a chill run down her spine. She knew that the nightmare was far from over. The figure had followed them, and it wasn't going to let them go. The video had brought her fame and success, but at a terrible cost. The darkness they had encountered at Ravenwood Asylum had latched onto them, and there was no escape. Lena knew that they would never be free from the horrors they had unleashed. As she stared at the shadowy figure, she realized that some doors should never be opened, some secrets should remain buried, and some stories should never be told. The price of curiosity and fame had been too high, and now they were paying the ultimate price.